you're listening and watching to an awesome podcast. We're going to continue more on Tilda Oxford's point of view. This is Phenomenon Serendipity 2. Enjoy! Catching up to Selena wasn't easy. Neither was that announcement about how many bombs out there. Only about 165. It was really crazy. But it looks like they're going to have to take them down. Along the way, Bruce and Wilhelm made some friends with Oscar and Walter. They managed to catch up with the others. However, Tilda had to tell them that there are only about 165 bombs. Bruce, Wilhelm, Walter, and Oscar just stood there. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, please? Bruce said. There's only about 165 bombs before this whole city blows up. You gotta be kidding me! Wilhelm exclaimed. That is preposterous! What kind of demon would do that? Currently, Luna, Tilda said. So, what do we do? You guys are going to help me with these new friends. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know about taking down the bombs. No worries. I got some people that can help you with that. Okay. Why did it have to be this? 165 bombs. Why couldn't it be 165 infestations? Oh, will you relax? Can we just take down the bombs and then we'll complain about all this later? And also, I need to find Selena. Where the hell is she? How about we split up? You go find Selena and we'll take down the bombs. Alright. Tilda said to her sister. Lori, careful, okay? As you as well, sister. <laughs> Besides, Tilly, I knew you would have it in you. Ugh, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me Tilly? Jeez. Tilda said. Suddenly, there was some sort of eclipse in Tilda's direction that made everything look dark. But it wasn't night, but it made it seem that way. Hey, who turned off the sun? Eclipse hour? Oh man, this is gonna be really wicked. Tilda said. Wicked. Wouldn't you say? A creepy voice said. Tilda couldn't believe it. Oh no. Is it him? Oh man. It can't be. But it is, isn't it? Tilda said. Oh, I remember him. Ivan said. Well, well, well. So this is the crazy guy that I've heard so much about. Remarked Kichi. There he was standing there. A creepy mask that looked like some sort of handprint was on there. Blue and green accents to these colors of his costume. Boy, he looked really creepy with that mask. Hmm. Well, what an entrance. So this is lunatic. said the first captain. Oh boy, so we meet again, haven't we, lunatic? Tilda said, yes, you were on an undercover mission. Frost water, was it? Hmm. More like aqua frost. But I'd rather if you call me Special Agent Tilda Oxford. I see. Well, 
I assume you are here to make me stop these kinds of games. Look, there are 165 bombs, and the world here is at stake. Do you not care about what happens? <laughs> Maybe you don't, but I do. I am the hand of justice, Lunatic said. Ivan couldn't believe it. Hey, do you know him? Well, I don't know so much about him, but I remember that my best friend accidentally shot something, accidentally caused something, and this guy, Lunatic here, thought he actually was a criminal. Oh. But it's a long story, so... Yeah, I know him, Ivan said. But be careful. This guy's really dangerous. His flames are really burning hot. I don't even know if he's human. Well, I don't know if he's human or not. But it's time we take down this bastard, Tilda said, using her water and ice abilities. She thought maybe she got him. She smiled, but then she realized she missed. Right behind her, Lunatic was there. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe he did that. Tilda said with a gasp. Hmm, I can't believe I did that. Now, death is calling you. The hand of phantoms. No, is this really the end? Just before Lunatic could make a move, something swift came at him. Tilda managed to move out of the way. <sighs> then she looked up and she couldn't believe it. Levi! She was so relieved. Levi stood there. Facing this monster. So, you're lunatic. He said. Why, yes, and you are? Lunatic asked. Captain Levi. I am the captain. Of the scouts. I take a pretty good interest in you, seeing how you're able to kill people by burning them. You and I both share a commonality, but here's the only difference. I don't kill humans. I only kill monsters, but I figure out the monsters were once human. Oh, is that what you think? I don't kill innocents. The only thing I kill is only people who are guilty. Those who deserve it. Said Lunatic. So, wanna go head to head? You and Inferno massive crap. <laughs> Inferno massive crap. Well, I must be very insulted. I think the hand of Santos is calling you. Lunatic says with malice. fight began. Tilda was watching as the flames and the arrows went away, right straight forward to Levi, but Levi was really much quicker. He managed to dodge, and even though he almost got himself burnt alive, he got out of there. Only a few burnt scrapes were among him. He didn't care. He kept fighting and fighting. Levi! Tilda called out, be careful. 
they had to get out of there. This lunatic guy was really out of his mind. Then Tilda saw her. Selena. Selena! Tilda went away. She was concerned. Kichi called after her. Tilda! Where are you going? What about the captain? But she was really frustrated. Tilda tried to catch up to Selena, but Selena was a lot faster. Leave me alone, Tilda! Selena, please! I just want to help you. Nobody can help me. Not even you. Tilda wouldn't give up. She ran faster. Alongside her was Gray. So, any chance I can help? He said. Please, you've got to manage to catch her. I'm not going to lose her. I know what it's like. She's confused, angry. She just wants revenge. Tilda said, kind of like you. Exactly. Yes, she and I are pretty much the same, she said. Tilda tried her best to catch up with her. Luckily, the others from Tilda's crew managed to help her out catch Selena. Selena tried her best to use her snake abilities. She tried fighting back, but there was some sort of vulnerability that she had. She was so distressed that she began to cry. She cried because she was really, really angry. What am I doing? Selena sobbed. What am I doing? Selena, it's okay. You don't know me, Tilda. You really don't. Yes, I do. Listen, you have to come with us. There's people out there that care about you. I do. I want to help you because I know what it's like to be you. Tilda said. How would you know? Huh? How would you know? Because I felt the same way when I lost my parents. I, I found the guy that killed them. He tried to kill me. And someone taught me something important. I'm not alone. I really... I'm not really alone. I just, I just want to let you know that you matter to me more than anything.